it's time for another Coast of the Week episode here on Bradford Productions, where today I'm literally going to be talking about a brand new roller coaster I've designed for my YouTube channel. So today I've designed a brand new wooden wagon trail themed roller coaster, and it's no, and it's just called the Wagon Trail, where I've literally designed, made it really, really good, made it really thrilling. That uh, just going to talk to you about the elements that I've used on this ride. So literally, I've used a lot and lots of road pieces. So first of all. I literally used a loop, so when you go around it, it goes around the loop. Then I've also used something called a shock drop, where it means when you think you're going to crash off the rails, that means that rail is broken and then it goes right down into the next section of the track. So make sure you look out for that drop on the um, roller coaster POV that I'm actually going to be doing in just a few minutes. And I've also used helix drops that go round on the side, so also used that for my actual coaster as well. Um, it didn't take that long to design, it took about 15 minutes to design that roller coaster. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you and talk about some ride. I'm going to do some on-ride footage also talking about the elements that I used for my roller coaster. Let's get straight into it then and here is the on-ride footage of the Wacken Trail coaster. So here we are then, we're on the wagon trailer, this is the starting point of the ride, it goes up this, it's not a very tall lift hill, I do see some coasters with big lift hills, so it comes around this way, and then you go down the first drop with a big loop, you can, as you can see, it, it does go quite fast around the leap, so you can see it slows itself down, and then it goes really fast afterwards added a few banks to make it more suitable. Right here we are, this is the ship drop that I was talking to you about. So it goes around there. It does go quite slowly so it's not that fast going around so we are going up the next lift hill. It's going to be quite a long POV because this is a very very long roller coaster. You can see I put some water there to make it more fun. Here we are going down the helix drop. It goes quite fast when you go around the drop. You can see it will go really fast doing this ride POV now. So it's just going right down. Just twists a lot. Get a bit of air time in that. So this is quite a long PV. It's just over half a minute long now. So there you go. So that is it for the wagon trail case. So just over half a minute to do for this on my PV. So literally, um, it's time for the final section of the sh of the episode where I talk about the statistics of this coaster. So yeah, it's time for the final part of Coaster of the Week where I'm actually going to be talking to you about the statistics of the actual roller coaster itself. So the thrill rating of this coaster is 100 out of 100, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the um, nausea rating is 76 out of 100, which is in the orange zone, which is not good. It's a bit sick for a few people. Um, the, du the duration of the coaster is 1 minute and 40 seconds, so that is quite long for a coaster that I've actually done. Uh, it's not one of my longest I've actually built, but, but the actual one I did which was long was a wooden roller coaster that I built in my actual park itself, so that's one That's one there. And the capacity is 24, 24 riders, um, there's four casts and six riders per car, so that makes a total of 24, so, and that's the statistics, so hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Coast of the Week, make sure you check out the other episodes of Coast of the Week, make sure you check out last week's episode, the Halloween episodes, the ones I did on early this year, so make sure you check those out, and also check out the vlogs that I did this year as well, and also check out this December that I actually said on the Bumpy Production show, uh, that just went, um, I'll be doing a very special video, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's a secret, so Literally, it's going to be a very special video I'm going to be doing around Christmas time and that. But I'll let you know when it's going to be coming out. So, my name's been Jay Bradford. This has been Coast of the Week. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you, make sure you follow the Facebook page. And yeah, that is it then for this week. So, my name's been Jay Bradford. This has been Coast of the Week. Bye for now.